Hey there Internet, I'm Michael and today on Two Can Play That Game we're going to play a game of Sushi Go Party by Game Right. So we're all set up for our two player playthrough of Sushi Go Party now we're going to be doing the dinner for two menu. So we've got the nigiri that you have always. Our rolls are uramake and our special we've got a menu and a special order. And then our appetizers we've got the onigiri, tofu, miso soup. And finally our dessert is fruit. So I've already shuffled up all the cards as you do and they're they're ready. I'm going to be the blue pawn here, and playing with me today, we're going to have Pixel as the red pawn. So I've already dealt out two hands of ten cards each, and so here we have Pixel's hand, so she'll have a look through those and pick a card to keep. But in the meantime, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got an Uramaki with five Uramakis on, and the first to ten will get eight points. We've got a salmon nigiri worth two points. We've got tofu where one is worth two points, two is six, and three or more is zero. We've got three uramaki, a three uramaki, another salmon nigiri, so we might as well group those together. We've got a menu. We've got a miso soup. So discard if any other players play this, but if they don't, it's worth three points. We've got some pineapple, two pineapples. So these will score at the end of the game and it's per fruit type. So at the moment we would only have the one and it's the only one in there. And then finally we've got a squid nigiri worth three points. So normally I would just go straight up for the squid nigiri and I think that is what I'm going to do. So we'll take that for three points and then we'll pass these cards pixel so pixel has also chosen so it's time to do the reveal so we'll start with mine because we know what that is the squid nigiri which will just give me three points and the first card pixel's gone for is miso soup she'd have to discard this if i'd played one but because i haven't she's fine and that will stay there so what has pixel passed us then we've got a special order a special order a salmon nigiri worth two points. Three tofus, and three tofus would be zero points. So there was tofu in the other hand as well. So tofu are definitely risky in this game. Uramaki, there's a four, and there was a five in the other hand. So that'd get really close to that ten really quick. And then we've got, oh, an onigiri. There were none of these in the other hand. Oh, we've got two different ones, which if we get both would be four points. Hmm. Well, I think the easy thing to do is just go for the straight up points. The special order will copy an existing card. So we could copy our squid nigiri. So we'll go with that. And Pixel reveals the five Uramaki card. So she's halfway to the ten needed. And we've gotten back the seven nigiri, the two free Uramakis. And given that she played that five one, we'd need both of these and the four to get to the 10, so I'm not inclined to try and get those. Then we've got the tofu, as I said before, that's risky. We've got fruit, that's tempting, this is the only fruit there. And if we get no fruit in the game, we'll have minus two points, so that's tempting. Menu, well, it's a bit potlucky. And we've got the miso soup, which is the only miso soup left. So I think we're fine to just select that, and that's a guaranteed three points again. And then we have... Ooh, a special order from Pixel. What's she going to use it on? She's going to use it on the Uramaki, which will take her to 10 Uramaki, meaning she's the first to reach it, so she gets 8 points. So the Uramaki scores immediately, which means Pixel moves off the zero spot and is up to 8 points. And of course, if you're playing attention, you know exactly what cards we've got. So we've got the Nigiri, the Tofus, the Uramaki and the Onigiri. So I'm going to go for this Salmon here because that's guaranteed two points, which I think is quite a nice amount. And Pixel reveals 
fruit. Ah, so she has taken that fruit. Well, hopefully there'll be some more in some other rounds so I don't end up with the minus points. But we shall see. And of course that means we've still got the menu. The two aramakis, a tofu and two salmon nigiri. I'm not going to ruin my pattern. I don't know what you might choose to do here. But uh, I think I'm going to go for the salmon nigiri, the guaranteed two points again. Playing it nice and safe. And Pixel reveals, oh, she's going for the Onigiri. So there were two of these, so she's got the one. If she can get the other, that'll be four points for her. And the cards we have left, we've got the Tofus, the Uramaki, or the Onigiri. And you see, if I go for this Onigiri, I can stop Pixel getting it. So we'd each only get one point rather than her getting four. I think that's the safest thing for me to do, so I'll go for the Onigiri. And um, Pixel reveals our oh, nice simple salmon nigiri. And we're left with, so we've got an uramaki, uramaki, tofu, or menu. So I think I'm going to take the potluck on the menu here. So I draw four cards from the cards deck. And they are... Oh, a miso soup, another menu, a tofu, oh, a fruit with two different fruits on. Now, I think that's too good to pass up. So I will be taking that using the menu. And then Pixel has gone for the tofu. So that means I've got a chance here to stitch her up with three or more tofus. So what to take of what's left, the tofus or the uramaki? Because I know if I just leave the tofus for Pixel, she's going to be messed up. And there should be enough Uramaki for me to get the 10. So I think I will go for the Uramaki. And Pixel reveals, oh no, she's taken one of the Uramakis. So there's no longer enough Uramaki for me to get 10. But it will do no benefit for her. But it's, it's, it's cost me 5 points, so... That's probably a good play on her part. So it's our second to last card and it's our last time picking. We've got two options. We've got the Tofu or the Uramaki. The Uramaki will score us nothing, but if we take that, we know that Pixel will get nothing for her Tofu because we gave her two Tofu last time, so we know what she's getting. Ugh. So that would cost Pixel six points as opposed to giving us six points. Either way, it nets out to zero. So I'll take the Uramaki. I want to deny her the points. And of course we know Pixel's card is another Tofu. So she has two Tofus. But we also know that we're passing her a third Tofu. So she's getting nothing. And of course the last card she passed us is another Tofu. So that's the end of the round, time to score. So my score, we've got two squid nigiris, so that's six. A miso soup, so that's nine. Eleven for the salmon nigiri. Another two, so that's thirteen. One for this, so that's fourteen. The fruit we'll deal with later. The uramakis and tofu are scoring me nothing. So we have fourteen for me. So I jump ahead to here. So Pixel will get three for her miso soup. She's already scored the Uramaki. The fruit will score at the end of game, so she'll just put that to the side for now. The Onigiri, she's only got the one, so that'll be one. So that's four more points for her. The Salmon Nigiri is two, so that's six. The Tofu is scoring her zero. So she's still six, and this other Uramaki is again zero. So she gets six more points. Um, Pixel six, given she already had eight for her Uramaki, will mean one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so neck and neck tied at 14. So a new round means a new set of 10 cards. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a salmon nigiri, a tofu, an onigiri, a miso soup, squid nigiri. Oh, another squid nigiri. Oh, a different onigiri. So that's two unique. That's that'd be four points. Another squid. So that's three squid nigiris. A lot of nigiri here. 
another miso soup and a salmon nigiri. Now these miso soups are only three points each and they're risky at this point because I don't know if there are any miso soups in the other hand that Pixel might choose to play. And again with the tofu, if there's a lot of tofu going around that's risky. Um, I think I'm just going to play it safe again. I'm going to go for the squid nigiri. Nice safe three point card. And Pixel's first choice of card is an Uramaki. Ooh, see that's interesting because we know there were no Uramaki in the other hand, but it is five Uramaki, so she's already halfway to getting those eight points again. And the new cards from Pixel. We have a three Uramaki, a four Uramaki, another four Uramaki, another four Ur Okay, I can see why she went Uramaki now. There's a lot of Uramaki. Um, so she's pretty much sure to be able to manage that. We've got a uh, Salmon Nigiri, oh two special orders, so we could double the price on that for three points. Uh, miso Soup and Onigiri, oh was that the same Onigiri as we had in the other hand or a different one? I think it was the same. Uh, we've got Miso Soup, we know there's two Miso Soups, so we're not going near the Miso Soup. Uh, oh, so we could go for the Uramaki, but she's already got a five, so the chances of her us beating her to that aren't good. But I really don't want to end up with no score for the Uramakis again. But it'll take three to get two. I think special order, one card, three points on the Squid Nigiri is the way to go. And um, Pixel reveals. Ah, oh, she went for a Squid Nigiri, so straight up three points. Okay, so we've still got some Squid Nigiris here. I don't remember seeing any other tofu. So that tofu is pointless. The miso soup, there's a miso soup in there. It was the same in, uh, not in a giri, on a giri. Uh, so there's only two unique, so that's four points. So that's two points a card. So three points a card is probably a good bet going for this squid nigiri. But what did Pixel go for? Well, ooh, special order. And she's using it on her Uramaki so that she can guarantee getting there first because that takes her immediately to 10 and therefore she immediately scores eight points again. And those eight points will take her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to 22. Okay, so we've got all this Uramaki. Well, I could take that, but I mean, she's unlikely to take it, so I've still got a good chance of getting those later. The Salmon Nigiri, it's a good straight up two points. The miso soup would be three points though, but there are two miso soups in the other decks, so there's a higher chance of her picking that. So that would be risky, very, very, very risky. Uh, I'm going to go with the straight up two points, nice safe bet. And Pixel, oh, Pixel took a risk, she went for the miso soup. So there's now only going to be one of those in each hand, but because I didn't play one, she gets to keep it. So that leaves, we've got a squid, two squid nigiris, nice safe bets, a miso soup and the onigiris. I mean, would she take the risk on a miso soup again? I've been playing it safe and going for the two points, but I mean, that was, oh, but would she think I've been chicken so far? Ah, the dilemmas, what do I, uh, let's go for the miso soup. Let's take a gamble. So what is this? Oh, we're safe. Wasn't another miso soup. So she's going, oh, she's going for the onigiri and I can't stop her getting them. So she's going to get four points for those. So what do I have in my hand to score some points? Oh, well, this is the only miso soup left now. So that's a guaranteed three points. And then a ton of uramaki. Well, I think I'll be going for that miso soup. And I don't think there's going to be any surprise here. It's going to be, yeah, the onigiri. So she does have the two different types. So that'll score a four at the end of the round. But we're not there yet, so let's see what we got. Some nice easy two points, that would just be one point. Tofu zero points, so I don't want that. So we'll go for the easy two points, another salmon nigiri there. And what was left in that hand we gave Pixel? What could she have played? Uramaki, oh that's right, there was just Uramaki. So that can go there, it'll be worth nothing. So the, one of the hands is now worth nothing to Pixel. Interesting. And of course, this is that hand filled with Uramaki. So of course, I'm going to take the four Uramaki. I'm not sure I'm actually going to get enough now because I'm only going to get one of these back, which is probably the three. 
and I don't think the other hand has any, so I'm not going to get any score for Ramaki. So Pixel took a Salmon Nigiri that will be two points for her. So the final choice this round is a Tofu worth two points or an Onigiri worth one point. Either way, they're worth nothing to Pixel, so we'll go with the Tofu. And then the card we're going to get back from Pixel is a free Uramaki. So we only got seven, so we don't get any points for those. But what did Pixel pick? For Uramaki, which does nothing for her. And then we gave her the Onigiri that will do nothing for her. Oh, that's not true, actually. It'll be worth one point. It's still one unique Onigiri. So end of round scoring and we've got 3, 6, 9, 11, 13, 16, 19 and then 2 so 21 which will go 1 to 15 and then 20 to 35. So Pixel score this round, well those have already scored so she's got 3, 6, 10, 12, 13 more points. And Pixel's 13, she'll go 1, 2, 3 to 25, and then 10 to 35. So we keep just being very much uh, neck and neck here. Very, um, I've not actually had a game go like this, it's quite interesting. Maybe it's because I'm playing myself. So on to our third and final round, and our hand of 10 cards we have a miso soup or fruit and this is different fruit to what we already have because we only had pineapple and I, orange I guess so getting the strawberry is useful we've got squid nigiri or a maki onigiri two of the same onigiri tofu or oh, another fruit but the same fruits we've already got and oh another two tofu so there are two tofus and an onigiri so there are two different onigiris and we're very close to the end of the game so i think it makes definite sense to get these as quickly as possible and if we go for these that'll take me to two twos which would be two one points so that'd be two points so i think i'm going to go for the one that we've already got so we'll have two pineapple, which will be one point, and two of the oranges, which will be one point each. But we'll still be getting zero for the watermelon. Uh, we no, minus two for the watermelon even. But we might get that card still. So we'll go with that fruit. And um, Pixel went for, oh, she went for fruit as well. So she's now got four pineapples. That'll be six points at the end of the game. And so Pixel has passed us. We've got a tofu. Some Uramakis, oh a fruit, which would put us up to three on that, so that would be three points, that's getting us two points and two, so that's worth four points to us, so that's a definite maybe. Miso soup, some more Uramaki, let's group those Uramakis together, oh we've got more Uramaki there. Uh, we've got an Onigiri that I think is different to what we saw in the previous hand. Oh, and a tofu. So there are two tofu. I think it's got to be four points for one card. Uh, it's got to be. We'll go with the fruit. And Pixel went for Squid Nigiri. So next, we go for some Aramaki. We should go for some more fruit. That would put us up to three watermelon. So that takes us from three to six. So that's worth three points. Tofu, Onigiris. Onigiris, if we get all three be worth three points each so that's a maybe or the miso soup would be three points or there is two tough foods or oh, difficult choices see this isn't as worth as much two pixel yes it is because she'd go from zero to from minus two to one so that would still be three points for her hmm I think we've not managed to do much on the onigiris. I think we'll go for the onigiri and we'll take the unique one. Um, Pixel. Oh, she's going after the Uramaki again. Okay, interesting. So let's have a look. We've got the tofu, the Uramakis. See, I could take that and stop her getting that straight away. 
Well, there's the miso soup, but I'm, I've gone for the onigiri, so I really need to take that onigiri. So that'll put us to two unique. And Pixel. Oh, she took a risk and went for the miso soup. Luckily, I haven't played one, so it doesn't get discarded. And then where is that onigiri? There we go, onigiri. So that'll be our third onigiri. Quick, easy decision. And Pixel. No surprise, went for the Uramaki, so that's an immediate 8 points for her. Which will take her off of 35 and go 5 to 40, 1, 2, 3 to 8, so 43. And that leaves us with, we've got the two Tofus, two Uramaki that add up to 6, and the Miso Soup. So the Miso Soup is an easy 3 points at this point, so let's go with that. And um, Pixel went for tofu so yeah, she's going to be guaranteed the two can i force her to the three i wonder we shall see and we've got the fruit is worth three to me the uramaki i need to get the five but it'll take three cards the tofu i could either force her to three or more or get two of my own either way that will balance out and the onigiri is worth one so easy decision we'll go for the fruit and Pixel's gone for a second Tofu. So if she gets any more, they're worth nothing, but at the moment they're worth six. And with three cards left, we've got two Uramaki and a Tofu. Let's just go for the Tofu, because I don't think we're going to see an Uramaki back, frankly. So once again, we're going to fail to get any points from Uramaki. And Pixel has Onigiri, so that'll be one point for her. So it's the final decision of the game, and we have Tofu or Uramaki. Now we know we gave Pixel two Uramaki, so we're going to get one back. But that won't be enough to score, so we'll go with the Tofu, they'll give us six points. And we give the Uramaki to Pixel, and she gives us an Uramaki, which is pointless. So we know Pixel has an Uramaki, that will do nothing for her. And of course, we're giving her an Uramaki. That again does nothing for her. So that's it. Time to do the round scoring. And this round, I got a lot of fruit. So we'll add that to our existing fruit card and we'll score those shortly. But we've got nine for our Onigiri, another three for the Miso Soup, so that's 12, and six for the Tofu, so that's 18. Which will take us from our 35 here to 43, 53 for our 18. So 53 at the end of round three, we just need to score our fruit. So we'll ignore the fruit, we'll do that in a minute, we'll do end of game scoring. So we'll add it to her existing fruit, so she had two fruit cards. So Pixel has three for the squid, the Uramaki's already scored, six with the miso soups free another six for the tofu takes her to 12 and then one for her onigiri is 13 points which will move pixel one two three to 46 56 for the 13 so she's in the lead by three points which brings us to our end game fruit or dessert scoring so we score each of the three different types of fruit separately so if you have zero it's minus two one is zero two is one points three is three points four is six points and five or more is ten points so we've got three watermelons so that gets us three points Two pineapples will get us one point, so that's four points. And then three of these nectarines is another three points, so that's seven points for us. What about Pixel? Well, Pixel only has two cards, and they're both pineapple. So she's got minus four, but then four pineapple is six points, so that's a total of two points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 60 exactly. And pixels two, one, two, means I win by two points. And that is Sushi Go Party by Game Right. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And of course, if you have, 
please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And also take a look at us on social media, you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.